Well, here we are with a most unusual offering. Welcome to 136 Brook Street, Hanson. There's a lot to take in. Look at the dragonfly. Hey, let's go take a look. You're going to be surprised. I know you are. I hate to use the word unusual. It's so trite and overplayed. But I think you'll come away with why that makes so much sense here. Over an acre. Nicely sited, north facing. Okay. Huh? Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? There's two structures? Ha ha ha. You have not seen a property like this unless you saw it in 2014, the last time it was sold. This is a legal, proper in-law setup, not a multi, cannot be rented. Let's go find out all the details. Two houses. Isn't this something? Look at how bright this room is. Oh my word, I love this. And this is the north side of the house. This is the darkest part. Wow, usually ranches are dark. This is exceptionally bright. Freshly painted too. Bleaker beige, one of my favorites. Okay, I know the kitchen's not modern, but come on, that's not what this property is about. And, oh, oh wait, what? Okay, we'll come back to that. All right, let's see what's going on. So the main house is three bedrooms and two full bathrooms. Here's the guest bathroom. Here's the primary. Whoa, wait a second. Brand new French door. It's gigantic. It's 25 feet long. Oh, man. This is generous. En suite has its own bath. I know. It's dated. Come on. Got its own bath. And a walk-in closet with pull-down attic. You know... All right, I, I, I just can't wait. You, you got to see that this is, this is just amazing. This deck is gigantic. Not kidding. Look at this. Oh, 652 square feet. Holy moly. All right, we'll come back out. I just had to show you. It, it's such a nice feature. All right, we saw the primary. Here's the second bedroom. Two windows, cross ventilation, very nice. Big closet, super space. All right, third bedroom. It's the smallest. It's only got one window, but come on, great space. Of course, it has a closet. All right, let's head to the lower level so you understand a little bit more. Two hundred amp service. You got plenty of juice. Now, there had been a water leak that was undetected from the boiler, so the bonus room down here was all gutted. It's ready for you to finish. So the main house runs on natural gas. We'll get to it later, but the in-law is on propane. 
Yeah, two car garage under with some extra room for storage. Nice setup. I know, I know, you saw it. It needs some love, it needs you. But look at what you're getting. A lot of good improvements here. Man, this driveway, look, it just keeps going. The whole property keeps going, but all right. Let's take this step together. You're going to have a big smile. I know you are. This could be so many different things to so many different buyers currently used as an in-law setup. You can't rent it. I repeat, you can't rent it. But it doesn't have to be an in-law. It can be your at-home business. It could be for extended family of all ages. Oh, this is a happy house. Now remember, this runs on propane on this side, so the stove is electric. Although you could convert that to propane, I suppose. So you have a full bath. The building is almost completely self-contained. Common electric, common septic, common water. Otherwise, it is self-contained. Look at the size of this bedroom. With a queen bed, you still got plenty of room and massive closet space. I'll show you in a sec. Look at this. You have two sets of closets. This one's a walk-in. And there is some attic space above there too, by the way. All right. The back room, which is a combination living room, dining room, or living room office, is gigantic. It's 13 by 25. You, you could do so many things here. And the back of the house faces south. Look at the light coming in. Oh, and are you kidding? Another deck? A private 230 square foot deck. For real. You feel like you're in a treehouse. This is ridiculous. Where will you find another like it? Let me answer that for you. You won't. And the deck has its own stairway. You can really have so much separation of the two structures. People can have their privacy come and go. You don't find that in many multi-generational setups. You don't. There's lots of compromises. This one, not so many. I love what you can do here. It's got its own garage. Come on right now. This is ridiculous. Who doesn't love their own garage? And a private entrance at ground level. Come on. How do you replicate this? The driveway wraps all the way around back. You come right in out of the weather. Unload your groceries, your packages. This is an ideal setup. So you have some storage down here. Your laundry is down here. And there's, oh, unexpected, a bonus room. So calming down here. I love it. Now, it doesn't have a heat source, but here's the boiler right in the same room. So it's throwing off some heat. Maybe you can run another strip of baseboard. I don't know. Navy in on-demand hot water. Nice. 100 amp service on this side. All right, 
Let's head back up. There's 832 square feet on the first floor. That's a lot. Plus that bonus room. All right. Let's wrap this up. Let me bring you outside so you get a better idea of the totality of the property. Now listen, there is wetlands. There's a buffer along the left side of the property and the rear. It's demarcated. There's these nifty little cedar posts to point it out. Now, according to the town planner, FEMA has updated the Indian Head Brook floodway. So the owner has gone ahead and requested and filed for and paid for an elevation certificate to make sure we're out of the flood zone, which we think we are, but we'll have conclusions soon. Isn't this a beautiful property? I think this could suit a lot of needs for a great many buyers. Really, thanks for watching. I'm so appreciative. We'll see you soon.